a lot of men are getting emotionally abused in their marriages and relationships and don't even realize it. See, women have their tendencies and their ways to abuse men in the form of emotion, right? Something that's not physical, but it's just as worse, if not worse, than physical abuse. A lot of men don't even realize it. It's because society has normalized women emotionally abusing men. They've normalized it to the point to where so many men are oblivious and ignorant to the fact that it's even happening to them. It takes guys who are more woke, like myself, to explain this to men so y'all can get woke and wake up and help out y'all self. I mean, I tend to agree. I, I think that maybe there's some men that don't realize that they're being uh, abused in that way. But at the same time, there's just a lot of weak men that have been raised by single moms, been raised around a whole bunch of women that are just emotional and weak and probably sit there and argue back and do all those feminine, uh, you know, type of things. Some men just don't have enough balls to leave relationships. They don't have boundaries. They let women walk all over them, disrespect them, talk crazy to them and do all those type of things. And, uh, I don't think it's necessarily that they just don't realize or recognize what's going on. I think that they, they're just so used to it because I do agree that, you know, society has taught women that they can just be verbally abusive, cut men down, uh, demasculate them and do all these things. And there's, there's no problem with it. I mean, we see it everywhere. We see it here on social media all the time. We see it, uh, in television. We see it in movies. Um, we, we see men belittled all the time. It's just a normal thing that that perpetuates uh, society. It's like it's been this push of, to to just weaken men because women have a lot of women have rolled on this um, uh, feminine uh, feminist uh, movement and they've kind of just taken it too far to where it's not about equality at all. It's about women being superior to men, women. Uh, being able to do everything men can do and better, women not uh, needing men at all. So if they have this type of attitude to where they don't need us, they don't respect us, why wouldn't they abuse us? Because that's what they do. We don't really hold too much value to the average women. Women don't really value us. They make more money, as much money. They're independent. They go do all these things. They don't value us except for the things that they absolutely need, like the police, like the houses we live in, like the, the, the buildings that we work in, like the, the streets we drive down or the bridge, bridges we cross or all these things that uh, men do to facilitate society or to have children. I mean, look at sperm banks. You know what I mean? So if they feel that they don't need us. They don't have to respect us. Why wouldn't they abuse us? It's pretty much, you know, what it is. And unfortunately, there's there's women out there that don't believe this and, and that don't follow this narrative, but they're the not the majority. They're the minority. And it's good to always see women standing up and saying, no, this is not right. Because see, the bottom line is that you can hate men on a dating side of things. But don't forget that you have a father, a brother, a cousin, maybe even a friend or or something like that. Would you really want them to be treated like that? Would you want your son to marry someone that disrespects him and doesn't care, thinks he's less than dirt? 